Hi friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Asa Taro and in today's pick a card reading we are going to be looking at whether you should wait or move on from this connection. So a little bit of a trigger warning if you are not ready to hear the honest answer to this then I really recommend not watching this reading. I am going to tell you what you need to hear not what you want to hear. So if you don't feel prepared for that, please just click off and save yourself um, that kind of stress. But we have four piles today. We have pile one with the blue lace agate and the rose quartz, pile two with the yellow calcite and the tiger's eye, pile three with the clear quartz and the amethyst, and pile four with the aquamarine and the red jasper. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to, to decide which pile you feel most drawn to. It's absolutely okay to be drawn to more than one, though for this reading, I would probably suggest only picking one. Um, if you are having trouble figuring out which reading is yours, you should be able to pick that out in the first couple minutes, um, but I'll get into that in the reading. So go ahead, pause the video if you need to, to decide which pile you feel most drawn to, and then you can scroll down to the description box where I have all the timestamps listed and we will get into your reading. Hi there, Pile 1. If you guys chose the Blue Lace Agate and the Rose Quartz, this is going to be a reading on whether you should wait or move on. Now, a quick little disclaimer before I start. Um, if you are looking for a clear, concise answer from me on whether you should wait or move on, don't get your hopes up. The cards might be very clear and concise, but I am presenting you the information. It is up to you to decide what you what it is you want to do. You know your life in this connection better than I do. I am just here to present the information I see and fill in any gaps in your knowledge that you might not be aware of. So we're going to use these oracle cards to confirm that this is your connection and kind of what's going on with it and then we'll use tarot to see what you need to know and then we'll pull channel messages from your person and then we will get advice so hopefully this should be a pretty in-depth reading but we're going to start with who these two people are so it's up to you to, to assign who is person a and person b but person a is being represented by the elephant and the queen if i can pick it up yes the elephant and the queen which radiates regal feminine uses her benevolent authority to protect others and then person b is being represented by the vulture and the damsel understanding the mature the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself so these two people are in an interesting spot one could be a fire sign and the other could be an air sign absolutely does not have to be but the elephant person is definitely standing in their power right now they're very they're coming from this situation in a very from a very wise and mature position um it seems like they're protecting themselves first and protecting their energy and the vulture person definitely seems like they're in a state of not necessarily purging but doing the dirty work when it comes to working on themselves i definitely feel like this person when it comes to how they're viewed within this connection and by others in general they are a bit misunderstood and I feel like this person is trying to see the value of why they're doing what they're doing right now. But we're going to look at both of your energies towards the connection. So the elephant person's energies towards the connection are between worlds and here and now. And the vultures energies between the connections are time to go and deep knowing. So I definitely think that this could be a type of connection where you could already be with this person and you've been with this person for some time and maybe things haven't been working out or this seems to be some type of situationship where things are kind of at a crossroads. And the energy that I'm seeing here is that this elephant person 
they are kind of they're in this very mature accepting energy of allowing things to be as they are i feel like this connection has faced obstacles that have been really difficult and really trying for this elephant person but they've actually been able to surpass these obstacles with ease and maybe they're not past all of them but they recognize now that these obstacles that they were facing within this connection were meant to help them transition and transition into this newer more mature version of themselves i feel like they're really doing their best to just be present in the moment I feel like in the past, the elephant got in trouble with, um, got themselves or their hearts in trouble with trying to trust that, not trust, but with trying to either control a situation between these two people or just allowing their mind to really occupy itself with worries and fears about the future of what will be. And I feel like this elephant has reached a place of deep, deep acceptance where this person is really fine with just whatever is happening is happening. They're acknowledging that they are really growing and releasing a lot of things that are no longer serving them with this between worlds. And this person is just taking things day by day. They're really not trying to push or pull anything. But moving over here to the vulture, there's this understanding that this vulture person doesn't have the healthiest outlook on romance and relationships. And I don't know if the elephant person maybe said specific things to the vulture or the connection between the elephant and the vulture has shown the vulture that they need to be more, um, take more accountability for their actions and kind of look into how they love because this vulture is definitely in this phase of realizing that they have a lot of work to do on themselves. And with this damsel here, understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. I feel like this person is reaching a point where they know that they can't rely on anybody to take care of them or to support them if they're ever going to have a healthy relationship with themselves. And I think what's interesting is that this person has a deep knowing about the connection and about the elephant person. That this isn't just a connection that was, you know, just a la-di-da, like casual connection. There's something really deep and something more here. And I think that's precisely why this person has come to the conclusion that they need to get going on working on themselves. So I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this vulture walked away or they're recognizing that it's time to start focusing and healing them. But let's see what the connecting energies are between the both of you. So we have coming apart and we have movement. So I definitely think that this is a situation at the moment of two people deciding to go their separate ways or putting a pin in things. The interesting thing is that I think that how you both approach this connect, like it's going to depend on the couple in terms of what this actually means. Because for some of you, I can almost see this being a relationship where you both have learned what you needed to from one another and now it's kind of time to take your it's time to go on your separate ways and move forward on it into life. It's almost like this person learned everything that they needed to learn. This person learned everything that they needed to learn. They're very accepting and it's just like, okay, we're going to move forward. However, I do feel like there's another group of people where the elephant person really acknowledges that this vulture person has things that they need to work on. And they're very content with that because I feel like this is the type of person who's really just content on focusing on themselves. This elephant person really has been doing that anyway. And this is the type of person to take the high road and to allow things to be the way that they need to be. 
this elephant person is really honestly fine with moving forward alone because they are so solid within themselves and they're very accepting of the fact that this vulture person does need to does need things to be figured out before they can really be in a healthy relationship so i think that there's a mutual agreement here that you both are going your separate ways for now and kind of just seeing where life takes you. And I think it's really interesting. You, you probably clicked on this. I feel like a lot of this stuff has already happened and you're just wondering if, if this is really it, if this is really over. And I feel like for some of you, you'll know if it is, but for others, I think that for a lot of you, you're seeing this as just a necessary time apart while you give one another the space to figure things out and to, to live your life. So there's forward momentum in both of your lives and it does kind of seem like for the time being you both are accepting the idea of moving forward and what's interesting is that I feel like it, it's going to differ based on the couple because for some I could see these two people being together for a while and then realizing things just aren't working. You know this elephant person is growing and maturing and is ready for their life while this vulture person has some things that they need to work on in terms of love and both parties just feel like in order to move forward and and get and get it to a place of clarity and knowing they need to just grow apart from here on out whereas i feel like there are others who really want this to work who want this to be here but this elephant person recognizes that they cannot claim this person and that this person has to get to that point themselves so they're quite accepting and understanding that um this person is going to need some time on their own but at the same time this person is acknowledging that that doesn't mean they're going to sit here and wait and truthfully i always think that the best attitude to have towards these situations is to you know keep a place in your heart for a particular person if you want to but you know don't don't hold yourself back from any new opportunities always prioritize yourself um you know do what feels right to you but i definitely think that there's forward movement here in in separate directions for now um and i feel like there's there's a deep knowing in some of you that this will come back around at some point and for others i think that you know that there's it's just time to say goodbye that we we've, we've learned all that we can here and we're becoming two different people if that makes sense but i am going to see now and i feel like honestly for some of you this this part is all you need to make your decision but for others i am going to start shuffling the tarot and see what spirit wants you guys to know about this connection before we do channel messages and advice so Spirit, what do you want Pile 1 to know about this connection and whether they should wait or move on? What information is important? Okay, so we have the Five of Wands in reverse. What else, Spirit? What else? Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Man, maybe I should have taken these out of the way. I just didn't want to. Let's see, what else, Spirit? What else do you want Pile 1 to know? The Nine of Wands. What else do you want? Oh my goodness, okay, that is way too many. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to take these out of the way. This is driving me nuts. And you guys are probably like, you're driving me nuts. <laughs> okay. I'm going to leave this coming apart energy here. Where's the other? Yeah, movement. Okay. So we have these cards. Let's see. What else do you want? Pile one to know, spirit. We have the queen of pentacles. And on the back of the deck, we have the star. So I feel like what Spirit is saying is that
there could have been an opportunity to ground this or to ascend to a higher level of commitment but for whatever reason the energy between the both of this both of you happening ugh, i feel like i can't talk today man mercury retrograde is coming and it's hitting me like a bitch um I feel like Spirit is saying that there's no point in, in fighting this. It's kind of just where this connection needed to head. Um, but if you're already in a point of acceptance, I feel like they're really proud of you for that and kind of how you've gotten to this point. With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, though, I feel like Spirit is saying that any attempts to hold on to this might be delaying the inevitable anyway because it kind of seems like you both are, are are exhausted when it comes to like what's going on in this connection and with this diviner of coins here this queen of pentacles i feel like spirit is wanting you to know i i feel like especially i get the vibe that a lot of you are the elephant person and you are more so in this place of just being ready for more in life. And I feel like what Spirit is saying is that this person can't offer you more right now. And I think that it will just be more overbearing than anything to try and, and hold on to this with an iron grip. With the star here though, um, I feel like Spirit is asking you to not be disappointed in this answer or this outcome because... It definitely seems like whatever whatever comes of this, there will be really good good things happening for you. And that might sound hard to believe, but I feel like Spirit is saying that your willingness to just accept things for as they are and and try not to hold on to something that isn't grounding is really helping you move forward. So I guess like the answer in this one is pretty obvious at this point. Um where it kind of seems like Spirit is saying it's it's a move on for now kind of situation. Only if you want to, of course. If you don't, then you don't have to. But it, it kind of just seems like what Spirit is saying here is that you're having a very, like, approaching this from a pragmatic and, like, practical point of view will really help you when it comes to your decision making. Because I think the more that you fight what the universe is trying to tell you, the more it's going to just wear on you but what else do you want pile one to know spirit about this connection what's important for them to know okay so we have the eight of swords and the tower what else do you want them to know please spirit what else does pile one need to know we have the seven of swords We have the Four of Swords, and on the back of the deck, we have the Emperor. Okay, so we have Aquarius and Aries energy here. But what it definitely it seems like is that Spirit is saying that the reason why this connection is fizzling, or the reason why this connection seems like it just can't happen, is because this is a really great example of rejection is divine protection. And even though neither party might be outright rejecting the other, it definitely kind of seems like this relationship hasn't been easy to experience or take in. And I feel like what Spirit is saying here with this tower is that there is there was never a, a solid enough foundation for this connection to grow on. And I feel like there could have been events that happened in one or both of your lives that really made this even more difficult and even more challenging. I feel like there was a fear on both ends of being really open with the other. I feel like if anything, the elephant person was more open with the vulture person. But I feel like Spirit is saying that you might have been um, sabotaging your needs in order to... make this connection work and that's not what spirit wanted for you 
because they want you to be focused on yourself. I think there is healing on both ends that needs to happen. And what's interesting is that I can almost see for some of you, you know, you one, like one of you is gonna end up having to be in this place of the star and the other is gonna have to be in this place of the emperor in order to bring this connection back together. What's actually interesting is I almost feel like this pertains to the elephant and this pertains to the vulture. And I feel like this vulture person has really been stuck in their own mental prison and they've been very fearful and I think that they've had, I feel like they're not very proud of their actions and there are things that they do need to heal. What's interesting is that like the same person is in these two cards and I feel like that this person needs to, needs to learn how to take control of their life and of their circumstances and take accountability for certain things. But I feel like what Spirit is saying is that I don't know if there was necessarily betrayal here, but I do think that neither party was completely upfront about where they, what they wanted out of this connection and where they felt like it was headed. And I feel like there, this is a time where you're both meant to like grow apart and heal and learn what you want. I feel like for some of you, it could have been very, very daunting for this connection to not work out the way you wanted it to but I feel like spirit is saying that that everything has been working out the way it's meant to and that it's time for you to take control of your life and believe that you're worthy of really good things because I do think there are really good things coming for you whether or not from this person directly probably not but I do feel like that this is an opportunity for, for both of you to heal and to move forward and to continue down your life path. And I feel like the interesting thing is that for some of you, I feel like this, this might come around, like you and this person might come back together one day. But for others, I do feel like there's this knowing that you've learned all you can from this person and it's time for you to evolve and keep moving. And so I think what's really important is that you remember that this is a general reading. So whatever resonates with you more, like this person, like you and this person will come back together. If you believe that in your heart, then I think that you have every reason to believe that and that's totally valid. And if you believe that there is nothing more that can come from this and that you're ready for something new, I believe that as well and you're totally valid in that. But let's see what this person might say to you to kind of um, give you a better idea. So Spirit, what do you want? What does Pile 1's person want Pile 1 to know? Okay, lots, lots of stuff coming out. I feel like I don't have an, enough to be worthy of you. Yeah, especially if you're in that queen energy. I think this person might uh, not feel good enough but yeah we have I'm here for a good time not a long time and I think maybe that's one thing that this vulture person is trying to address is that you know they they might push away really good connections because they're unable to be there more if that makes sense we also have I get lost in daydreams about you and you are my everything so I think there's a deep amount of like admiration here and a lot of um because I feel like both parties like respect one another and see a lot of value in the other. But I think that circumstances of life, circumstances of who these people are and, and what you both need and what your souls need to evolve is, is separate. But we also have no matter how I act, I still care about you. Addictions are affecting my life right now. I am obsessed with you and you've changed me. And then finally we have, I want to take this connection to the next level, but there's mind over heart. And on the back of the deck, we have, I don't know who I am anymore. And so part of me wonders if this person, and we also have, I wish I could love you the way you deserve. So part of me wonders if this person um, really wanted something more, but felt like they weren't deserving enough of it. And they were really afraid of losing you. And I think that maybe that realization of, oh, I'm not... 
I'm too afraid of losing this and it either hasn't even happened or I have no reason to that I think that it got it made this person really scared I think I think that your person's feelings for you were quite scary and I feel like they they almost couldn't handle the idea of not of not of not being with you of not uh, of everything like going to shit and I think that made this person realize that they have a lot that they need to heal and I think it made you realize that no matter how strongly you feel for someone there's certain behavior you just won't put up with and you know that it's time to prioritize you but let's see what advice Spirit has for you. So Spirit, what do you want Kyle one to know about this connection? What do they need to hear? The answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. So that's a pretty solid promising thing to hear. So I feel like if you're if you're still unsure about this, like what camp you might be in, I feel like Spirit is saying you'll get the answers soon enough. We also have expect powerful change and step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So I definitely think that there are positive changes in your life no matter what. Um, what might happen from this connection? I feel like if this connection is disappearing, I think it's for a good reason. And I think that there's something better in your life. Um, I feel like you might be meeting someone who is a big part of your journey. I feel like you're going to understand a lot more soon enough. And I think that what Spirit is kind of saying is that this person acknowledges, like, despite how strong the feelings might be, that they're not in the right place right now to be the person that they need to be in order to be with you. And I feel like what Spirit is saying to you is that it's you don't deserve to hold or sit around and wait for that person when you're fully ready for something real and something true with somebody. So I think what Spirit is saying is that you'll understand a lot of this more. And if you still don't have all of the answers you need right now, you know, you don't have to make any rash decisions. But I think at this point, like what the cards are saying is that it seems like energetically, it's not the right time. So like I was saying earlier, you know, whether you wait or move on is up to you. I think that you can leave a space for this person in your heart while still being open to any new people that might come in that might um, be worthy of your time and attention. But ultimately, all of that is up to you and what you want. So pile one, I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope this gave you some clarity about your situation thank you guys so much for watching this all the way through if you did definitely let me know down in the comments kind of what camp you're in and what you're thinking and you know don't be afraid to leave any support for anyone else also going through this so um yeah if you enjoyed this video definitely leave it a like um and if you haven't already i would love it if you subscribed and joined our little fam uh, thank you guys so much for letting me read your cards. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this and I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye. Hi there pile two. If you guys chose the yellow calcite and the tiger's eye, this is going to be your reading on whether you should wait or move on. Now I want to kind of explain how I'm going to go about this reading. So I'm not going to explicitly say like you should 100% wait or you should 100% move on. I kind of want that to be up to you and I also kind of just want the cards to do the talking for themselves so what we're going to do here to confirm that this is your connection that you're asking about is we have both parties represented on one side and then two connecting energies of what's going on so that you'll be able to say okay yeah this is me and my person or no this isn't me and my person and then we'll use tarot to see what spirit wants you to know and then channel messages to see what this person would say to you and then finally some advice so looking at the first person in the connection they are being represented by the dragonfly and the companion so loyalty tenacity and unselfishness and this person is being represented by the dolphin and the hedonist inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life celebrates the beauty in yourself and then both of your energies towards the connection so the dragonfly's energy towards the connection 
is The Never Ending Story and The Observer. And then the dolphin's energy towards the connection is flexible and all that glitters, which is interesting because this is 19 and 16 and they're like kind of, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so this first person, let's talk about this, the dragonfly. So this person in this connection ha has a huge desire for there to just be honesty and truth within this connection. They, I feel like they have a really hard time being able to discern what is just their personal feelings, what is the objective truth, and you know, where, where are they actually right about this connection and where are they wrong. I feel like this person is in an energy of really wanting this connection to happen. I mean, I think that they, I think that they wanted it to happen in the past as well. Um, actually the energy that I'm really getting is that this dragonfly person, I feel like this is a connection that has been in separation probably for quite some time. Um, it doesn't have to be, but it does kind of seem like there's been some time passed here, especially with this, um, what's, what's that called? The sand thing. Like I'm going to forget it and a million people are going to comment what it is, but the thing to, to, uh, the timer, the sand timer or whatever some time has passed and I feel like this person, this dragonfly person, they have a much better idea of what their truth is about this connection. And I feel like they're more willing to be open and honest about what that is. I feel like though this dragonfly person has been into this connection, especially in the beginning, a lot more than this dolphin person was, because I feel like they've always been in this energy of wanting to be a companion to the dolphin but i feel like for whatever reason i feel like the dolphin at the time was probably not into the idea of commitment or something like that it does kind of seem like this dolphin person has overcome a lot of emotional healing that they needed to do on their own and i do feel like there has been some time passing and what's interesting is that i feel like this this dolphin person has really just been trying to have fun to like themselves again is something that I'm hearing and just be themselves and be free. This person is really smart and really intelligent but I think that they have a lot of fears that they were unaware of and not that they were unaware of or but that they let control them in the beginning and I think what's interesting is that I think this dragonfly person pretty much accepted that things weren't going to work out here and kind of just decided to put a pen in things and, and not necessarily move on, but move forward. And what's what's interesting is I feel like this dragon person has still been watching from afar because they know that, that this isn't over. They know that they want more here and that there there has to be, they're like, I I need something to happen here or if not need, it's just like the dragonfly person knows that this connection isn't over, that something will happen and something will roll around here. And so it's kind of like they've just been watching and waiting to see maybe if this person, if this dolphin person will reach out to them, if they have the opportunity to see them in person, whatever it may be. But what's interesting is that I feel like there's been a lot of revelations in the dolphin person's life about this connection that the dragonfly person has no idea of. I think the dragonfly person has actually been quite frustrated because they've been waiting for what seems like a long time and I think that they're having trouble trusting what their gut says over what their anxious brain says. And I feel like they almost might be looking in the wrong direction for answers. But if you're the dragonfly person watching, I guess I shouldn't be saying that because then maybe you won't watch the rest of this. But, um, if you're the dolphin person, I feel like you're coming to this point where you're really into the idea of something more with this person. Because here's what's interesting. I feel like the dolphin person really didn't see, maybe not the value or, or maybe they just weren't ready for this dragonfly person. But at this point, this dolphin person realizes that they've learned a lot from this dragonfly person, whether directly or indirectly. And by that, I mean that I feel like this dragonfly person has treated them in a way that um, has always been like kind and, and even 
And even when maybe this dolphin person was being a bit of a jackass or something like that, the dragonfly was just really chill about it and like, okay, whatever. You know, maybe they got upset, but I feel like they were just cool about it, move forward, gave this person space. Because I feel like this dolphin person needed needed space to heal. Because what's interesting is that now they're in this energy towards the connection of realizing that not all that glitters is gold. And so I feel like with this kind of hedonist behavior, they're realizing that just constantly indulging in whatever they want doesn't necessarily lead towards anything substantial. And I think the things that once made them really happy are now not so satisfying. And so I, I see like, like the cogs in this dolphin's brain turning now where they're like, oh, you know, maybe I've been prioritizing the wrong things or maybe, maybe I'm ready to not necessarily move forward, but, but change how I'm approaching life. There's flexibility here and I feel like they're open to, to this connection in a way they weren't before because they were really focused on just making themselves happy. So let's look at the energy between the both of you. So to start, oh my God, this is embarrassing. Okay, so to start, we have mountain and we also have come together. So this is actually really promising because I feel like energetically, the reason why this connection was blocked in the past was because this dragonfly person had things that they needed to learn about themselves. I think, especially when it comes to not self-sabotaging themselves in a connection, you know, because I do feel like this dragonfly person was really ready to kind of be in a companionship mode with this dolphin and they were and this dolphin was just like uh, I just kind of want to have fun for right now like I wasn't really expecting much more here and so this mountain emerged for a good reason because I feel like it, from spirit's mind this dragonfly person really needed time to kind of trust their gut, understand what was going on with them, and just kind of be able to surrender something that they feel strongly about and be at peace with it. I feel like this dragonfly person is waiting for their opportunity to come together and tell this person the truth. And I think what's interesting is that equally so, this person felt like committing to this person, to this dragonfly person at one point. The dolphin felt like committing to the dragonfly at one point was like, trying to overcome a mountain it was just too much and so i feel like spirit put this energetic barrier here to make this person realize that not everything like just because something's a no at one point doesn't mean it's a no forever and this dolphin person to realize that following superficial things or following you know their hedonist desires isn't always going to make them happy and so i feel like at this point, both parties are kind of realizing that they really do want to see one another and, and talk to one another and kind of work something out here because despite the obstacles, I feel like they're really ready to discuss what's been going on here and come together. I feel like neither party has really let go of one another and neither party really wants to see things end forever like like energetically speaking i feel like both parties here are really just neither party has been able to let it go both parties are acknowledging that there are things that they both needed to learn and truths that they needed to understand but i think enough time has passed that at this point the energies have changed but we will kind of see what spirit says with the tarot now and kind of what they want you guys to know. So this is the Ember and Aura Tarot. It is on Etsy if you're interested. I'm trying not to shuffle too crazy because I don't want to bend these cards. But let's see here, Spirit, what does Pile 2 need to know about this connection? What information do they need in order to make this happen? So we have the Three of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords. What else does Pile 
We have the Ten of Pentacles. Let's just in reverse. The Chariot. And on the back of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. Okay. Then let me see what else. What else do you want them to know, please, Spirit? I feel like, if anything, this top row is kind of talking about what was happening in the past. The King of Cups in reverse. The Devil. Spirit, what does this pile need to know? The lovers upright. Gemini energy, Capricorn, Cancer, Seven of Wands, and on the back of the deck, Ace of Cups, and the world directly underneath that. Okay, so this is really interesting. I feel like a lot of this is talking about the beginning of your connection and kind of before things went to shit, when, when things were promising. You know, I think that you both were in this place of, of just seeing where things were going and trying to have fun. But I feel like at, at, at this point, there is a mutual desire to reunite. I feel like one or both of you are very afraid of sharing your feelings, but I definitely think at the time when everything was occurring, I definitely think it was this dolphin person. They were not open to sharing their feelings and they might have even had their feelings turned off. And what's interesting is that this lover's couple is displayed on being a mountain. And I think what's really interesting here is that we have this seven of swords and this devil. And so I feel like the reason this connection, one of one person in this connection sabotaged it, likely the dolphin, um, was because they were really overcoming a lot of demons. And I feel like one thing that they're very afraid of is coming forward and admitting fault. I feel like they're afraid that they might have really uh, ruined this connection forever. And you might be watching this and being like, yeah, well, they did. And that's absolutely fine. But with the Seven of Swords here, I feel like this person has been taking time, especially this dolphin person, to kind of get out of this devil energy that's keeping them trapped. And I think at the same time, this dragonfly person has been learning how to choose themselves first and not allow decisions to be made for them. I feel like they're starting to think for themselves and prioritize themselves first, which is something they were not able to do when this connection happened the first time around. And what's interesting is that with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, there could have been some kind of family interference here. Um, or I feel like one or both of these people were not really ready for something, were not thinking seriously about the future. And I think that there's spiritual development on both ends that needed to happen and that do need to happen in order for these two people to choose to come together. Because I think the biggest thing about this is that these two people are going to have to learn their lessons and, and actively choose one another in order to come together like this. Because I do think that both parties, yeah, I guess the flame agrees, but I do think that both parties really see something special here. And I feel like no matter how much time has passed, I don't think the feelings have gone away. Um, and I feel like there has been a lot of spiritual development here. It hasn't been easy for you guys to overcome a lot of this stuff. And I think that the reason why this connection couldn't move forward in the beginning was because there was a lack of balance here. You know, it seems like this person was really ready to move forward, but this person wasn't. You know, they still had more life to live and things to experience. They wanted to keep things casual. You know, it's kind of interesting that we have the Page of Swords juxtaposed by the King of Cups in reverse. 
you know, this person was just trying to have fun. They weren't ready to catch feelings. And I think one thing that this person has really struggled with is that the longer, this dolphin person, by the way, hopefully that hasn't gotten too confusing. Um, the dolphin person feels kind of trapped by their feelings for the dragonfly and, and same with the dragonfly. But I think what was harder for the dragonfly was that they actively knew that this person either betrayed them literally or wasn't going to commit. And so I think that they just felt foolish and felt really stupid. And so for the dragonfly person, this has been a process of personal empowerment and knowing their worth and knowing when not to take things personally and, and when it's time to trust yourself and, and, you know, move forward. Whereas this person, this dolphin person has been learning how to heal their emotions and learning how their actions can affect others and how always just following your desires for a night while it might be fun in the time is is fleeting happiness and and it's not providing providing anything real and long lasting so with this chariot here i feel like both parties are wanting to make the decision to fight for this and to defend what they have going on and there might be some defensiveness on one or both ends about coming together but i feel like the desire still stands we have cancer energy here as well. So you could be like, I feel like rising signs are a big thing here. Like maybe like cancer, Gemini or Capricorn. But with the, this page of swords, I feel like both parties are getting to this point where they just want to talk to each other. And I feel like it may not be anything significant or substantial, but it's, it's opening something up, something that hasn't been there before and reopening the lines of communication. I think that's what both parties want here and with this ace of cups I feel like there is going to be an opportunity in the future for you both to maybe try this try this again try it try it once more and see what happens here but you know when it comes to stuff like this I feel like what spirit is stressing is that you both are going to have to make that choice to want to if if one person doesn't want to then this can't move forward but I think that's why communication is going to be really important here but in speaking of communication we will see what this person would say to you with channeled messages so spirit what would pile two's person say to pile two they can be completely honest okay so to start this person says, you've tamed me. <laughs> you have the most beautiful face. I feel protective over you. Yeah, and that's kind of what's interesting is like, I feel like both people are watching one another from afar, but like not really doing anything about it. Like just wondering where the, this person is at and like what they're doing and stuff. I want to take care of you. Yeah, I feel like this is this has really big like companionship, like you know, lover's energy, like, these two people really just want to, you know, you've, you, it seems like you both have separately climbed the mountains, and now that you're on the other side, it's time for those feelings to rush off the mountain and into this cup and start something really substantial, it seems like, you know, the sun is really coming out, appearing like Annie, <laughs> the sun will come out tomorrow, I get so lost in your eyes, no matter how I act, I still care about you, I feel like I don't have enough to be worthy of you and you're my wish come true. Let's see what else they would say. Yeah, I wish I could love you the way you deserve. I have so much that I want to say to you. Yeah, I feel like both people have a lot they want to say. You are my one true love and can we just have fun? So that's really interesting. I feel like this connection, it, it's like you guys are really gonna start start off with it being casual because you're not going to want to like open up that that wound very fast. I don't even know if this is friends with benefits. Like I don't think that. I think it's more just like there's been a decent amount of time that has passed, and so I think that you guys are just gonna if this does come back together, you guys are gonna start things casual and just see where they go before either of you are really willing to put your heart on the line because there's a lot that they want to say but I feel like for now they just want to like have fun with you because they missed out a lot 
but on the, on the back of the deck we have you're different from my usual type and I love it and I'm still healing so yeah I feel like you guys are in this place where you're ready to maybe open the lines of communication again but it, it doesn't want to be this I feel like you guys don't want it to be this thing where you rush in it's like you just want to test out the waters and come together and like just see what happens so we'll get some advice from spirit what they want you to know so spirit what advice do you have for pile two when it comes to this connection so we have the answers you need are coming full moon and gemini and you and your loved ones are safe new moon in cancer and on the back of the deck we have look at the bigger picture full moon and sag and a fiery climax approaches full moon and aries so it does seem like something could be changing here i think if there's anything that you need to release I would focus on that. I'm filming this right before a full moon or I think on a full moon. So um, if there's any fears that you need to release, I would do that at this time. But um, yeah, it kind of just seems like you're going to get the answers that you need about this connection. We have a lot of Gemini energy. And um, whether you wait or move on is up to you. If this sounds like your connection and this sounds like what you've been going through, I think hopefully this is enough information for you to make a decision on what you want to do. But I am going to leave this reading here, Pile 2. Thank you guys so much for watching this all the way through if you did. I would love to hear in the comments how this resonates and, um, you know, kind of what your what your mindset is if you want to support any other Pile 2s out there. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you left a like. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you have subscribed and joined our little fam. Thank you guys so much for letting me read your cards. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this. And I hope you'll come back and see me soon. Bye. Hi there, Pile 3. If you guys chose the Clear Quartz and the Amethyst, this is going to be your reading on should you wait or should you move on. So the way this reading is going to work is that we are going to look at what's going on currently in your connection and the dynamic between the both of you to confirm this is the person that you're asking about and we're going to look at the current energy. Um, I am not going to say specifically whether you should wait or move on. Uh, I'm going to kind of let the cards do the talking because at the end of the day that's up to you. Um, but what we're going to do here is after we look at that then we'll get tarot to see what you need to know, channel messages from your person, and then advice. So let's start with the first person here. They are being represented by the Eagle and the Avenger. So desire to balance the scales of injustice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. So this person is definitely feeling pretty determined. Um, I think they're seeing things now that they didn't before. Um, like I'm literally hearing like I can see clearly now the rain is gone. But... The other person is being represented by the Lamb and the Messiah, serving humanity with humility. I feel like this person is definitely in more of a passive place. And by the way, you get to choose which is you and which is your person. But this person, the Lamb person, is definitely sitting in silence and in an energy of passiveness and kind of waiting. They definitely want the truth and only the truth when it comes to this connection but the eagle's energy towards this connection is imagine and loyal heart whereas the lamb's energy within this connection is regeneration and mending so i definitely feel like this is a connection where something went down here um and i feel like it's probably on the eagle person's part to fix it because they're definitely in much more of a of an energy of ac taking action towards this connection like there they have the desire to avenge maybe any past actions i feel like they've been imagining being with this lamb person a lot and i think that they're realizing that their heart belongs to this person i think that they are trying to manifest something with this person and i think that they are doing their best to figure out kind of how to approach this lamb person whereas the lamb person here i feel like they've kind of just been in energy of acceptance and allowing things to be what they will be 
I feel like they want things in this connection to get better and I think that they're actually hoping for some type of second chance but I think that this lamb actually had to kind of retreat maybe even move to get a better idea of what they wanted to do about their lives less so this connection but I also think that this connection could have had a factor in that but what I'm really seeing here is that this lamb has had enough silence and enough um, alone time to kind of see that they do hope deep down for some type of chance to mend this connection and maybe revive it. Because I think what this eagle didn't realize at the time was that they are... I feel like for whatever reason, the things that things just weren't working at the time. But let's see the connecting energies between you two. So we have Deep Freeze, which reduces to an 8. And we have Balancing Act. So what's interesting is that I actually feel like this eagle person is is not necessarily conspiring, but but trying to figure out how they want to balance this connection. I feel like it has been in a separation or some kind of pause with this deep freeze here. I feel like this eagle person needed time to find balance within themselves. I think maybe if they hurt this lamb person, they're feeling... I feel like at first they were very ashamed of that and they just wanted to avoid the issue. But I think the universe has brought them to a point where they can no longer ignore those feelings. And they're kind of seeing who's stuck in their heart. And I'm seeing these two people being represented by two owls. So if owls have some kind of significance, there you go. Um, but yeah, with this Imagine card, I feel like this eagle sees this lamb in their dreams. And I think both parties needed time away to allow the energies to balance because this lamb person, I think in order to be in the energy of accepting this eagle person, they needed to be in the energy of actually wanting to mend things and revive them. Whereas this eagle person needed to be confident in the idea that the, it, this is this lamb person is who they want to be with. They do want an equal and balanced connection here, which we do have at 11 and that this lamb person is who is actually in their heart. So I do think that things could be shifting in this connection. Um, it definitely seems like this eagle makes me think of the Knight of Swords, like just rushing in to speak to this lamb because this lamb is like, you know, it's not my job to fix this. Like I'm just gonna vibe over here and, and do my thing and we'll see what happens. So we are going to shuffle your tarot cards now and see what spirit wants you to know about this connection, whether you are the lamb or the eagle, whether you are waiting for things to be balanced or you are doing the balancing. Okay, so I am using the Ember and Aura tarot today it's on etsy if you're interested but we are going to see what spirit wants you specifically to know about this connection okay so Spirit, what do you want Pile 3 to know about this connection? What is important that they know? Okay. So to start, we have the Ace of Swords and the Five of Swords. And the Eight of Cups in reverse. This is interesting. This is actually very similar to another reading that I did. Um, I can't even remember what it is, though. But we also have the Fool and the Nine of Cups. So yeah, I think this is pretty clear here. I definitely think that this eagle person did something to sabotage this connection. And I think that this the lamb person has definitely been trying to find their own happiness. But I think both parties have realized that there's almost this inability to walk away completely. 
I feel like both parties have the desire for a fresh start and I feel like whether they would, would admit it or not deep down they are one another's wish come true because I think there is a lot of clarity here. I feel like the lamb person might have been very okay with this pause because they were probably really hurt by whatever this eagle person did and I think that the the clarity of what this eagle person did to them to this eagle person recognizing their actions and how they hurt this lamb um has been really painful and I mean karma but like I feel like they've definitely just been the actually being awake and aware of how they've hurt this person has been really difficult and they have clarity on how they were acting now. And I think that both parties are really just hoping for something to grow here. Like this is like a, a wish fulfillment type deal. And I think that they're both wishing for a fresh start because neither is able to move forward. But let's see what else Spirit wants you guys to know. Cause I, I definitely think that both, both people here are on the same page even if they haven't communicated about it so we have the nine of wands in reverse the ten of swords in reverse and the seven of cups upright you could both be having a lot of dreams about one another that really wouldn't shock me honestly what else spirit what else do you want pile okay so we have the three of cups and on the back of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah, I definitely think that you both have been moving forward. What's interesting is that we have the Ten of Swords reflected with this Ace of Swords. And I think for a while, both of you needed this deep freeze because you were just absolutely worn out by this connection and kind of the emotional toils it took on both of you because I think you both suffered in different ways I feel like this lamb suffered much more in the beginning especially when these things transpired and went down and they've been taking time out to heal and they're in much more of a place now where they see things from a lighter perspective where they're like okay you know clearly this eagle had some stuff going on um they were not feeling very good about life and I think that they were wounded and, and you know just had stuff to figure out and so I think that this lamb person has really gotten their clarity and they're in a place now where they can they cannot just only look at the eagle person as what they did to them but as a as a human being who is flawed and like I feel like this lamb is which we're all flawed but I feel like this lamb is now looking at things like okay None of us are perfect, you know, everybody makes mistakes, everybody has those days, everybody knows what I'm talking about, everybody gets that way, as the prophet Hannah Montana says. And the ego person, I feel like once they realized what they, the gravity of the situation and what they did, I feel like not only were they really ashamed, but it, it put them out of commission for a second. I feel like I want to sneeze. I guess I'm not going to, but... With this Ten of Swords here, it's possible they could have had the same thing done to them, which maybe gave them clarity on the situation. Like the same thing that they did to this lamb, then somebody else did to this eagle, and now they're like, oh shit, like I was not acting right there. I feel like both parties acknowledge that they were disillusioned in the beginning in some way. Like maybe the eagle was being really selfish and maybe the lamb was looking at things through rose-colored glasses. But I think both parties, part of the reason they haven't been able to get over one another is because every time they go to sleep, they have dreams about one another. And I feel like that's very frustrating. But I feel like both parties want some sort of reunion here. They just want to start fresh. Maybe they're waiting for some opportunity to see one another. I feel like in the meantime, they've both been really focusing on work and on other things. But I feel like both parties really want to work on this connection. They want to create a beautiful life together because neither one of them can move on and I think that's kind of interesting that spirit is saying that so clearly and I feel like things aren't necessarily very very clear here yet as to how they're going to work out but I feel like everything is working the way it's meant to so that both of these parties can have this fresh start and and they can move forward 
but I am going to pull some channel messages now and see what this person would say to you. I definitely think that this eagle person, they know that they need to balance things out and they know how to, maybe they, I think that the, that's what I meant to say. They don't, they, maybe they don't know the way forward yet or how they're going to do this. I think they just know that they want to. They might be waiting for an opportunity, but I think both parties want happiness brought back to this connection. But I want to see what this person would say to you. So, pile three spirit, what would this person say to pile three? Okay. I use humor to hide my feelings. I'm not willing to open up right now. So maybe if you're watching this lamb person, is like, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to get rejected again or I don't want to get hurt. But maybe if it's the eagle, they're like, I don't know if I'm ready to open up because I don't want to get rejected. I feel like they really care. I'm trying to be a better person. Yeah, I think both people are. We also have, I absolutely adore you. And please be patient with me. I am not good with love. I feel like what's interesting is that it's like neither party really was trying to find one another. It's just that they, it just happened when it happened and, and neither party was ready for it. But then I also think neither party could really expect what happened afterward. And yeah, I think that this has just overall been a really crazy connection and, and there needed to be some type of deep freeze here for both, for both parties to realize certain lessons that they needed to learn on their own and also mature so that they could get to a point that they needed to be at. Lots of green here. We also have I'm exhausted and I want to travel the world with you. But we also have I am not over my ex and but I want to have a family with you. So it's possible that maybe this person is really struggling. You've always been so kind to me. So maybe there has been someone in the background that they've been trying to get over. Or maybe that was the original issue in the first place. And maybe there will continue to be a deep freeze until this is changed. I feel like take that one as it resonates, but let's see what else. Oh, yeah, I still see a future with you. But on the back of the deck, we have I'm in survival mode right now. So I definitely think that that could be just related to that. It's possible that, that this eagle person needs to get balanced in themselves or this lamb person needs to get balanced in themselves before the energy opens up but I kind of just want to see yeah you make me feel alive I wasn't ready for these feelings what's popping out here I don't know who I am anymore and mind over heart so yeah there's gonna have to be some willingness on both ends to stop looking at things so logically and look at them from a from like a from a heart perspective because I, I feel like this land person kind of froze their heart and this eagle person has always valued their mind you know they're they're represented by air but yeah I, I I'm gonna pull a few more I feel called to spirit what else would pile three's person say to pile three I wish I could take it all back your aura is intoxicating you are absolutely stunning. And I didn't know what love was until I met you. But on the back of the deck, we have, I'm still healing. Ha! <laughs> and look, we have heart over mind. You're my type and I love it. So I think that there, there has to be this healing transition to where they can value their heart over their mind rather than their mind over their heart. But I think that this deep freeze is allowing you both to do the healing that you need. And I guess because this is a general reading, it will depend on where you are at in this journey to know whether you're ready for this or not. But by all means, this is just the information. If you want to move on from this, if you want to move forward, you are absolutely free to. And if you want to wait, you're free to do that as well. You know your life better than anyone and you have the power to choose what you want for yourself. But we're going to get some advice from Spirit in terms of what they want you to know about this connection. So pile one spirit, what do you want? Pile one. <laughs> pile three spirit, what do you want pile three to know about this connection, please? Okay, you guys are going to get four. Conclusions are within reach. 
Be bold and make the first move. A new start is coming and step out of your comfort zone. And on the back of the deck, the energy is gaining momentum and you're very close to achieving your goal. So yeah, it kind of seems like maybe this healing phase is going to be over pretty soon. And maybe this person, one of these people not being over an ex or something like that was the reason why this couldn't move forward in the first place. But I, I definitely didn't get an energy like this person, like one or one or the other. Like I feel like both both parties here are kind of just vibing. Like they might be casually talking to people, but I don't think there's anything serious. Um, I think there's fear on both ends that the other person might have somebody. But overall, I don't think that... I don't know. I think that this is really just a huge case of do what feels right to you and trust that you're making the right decision, whatever your gut tells you to do. So I'm going to leave this reading here, pile three. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way through. If you did, I hope this gave you the information that you were looking for. Definitely let me know down in the comments um, how this resonates and, you know, what, what you're doing. If you want to give any support to other pile threes. If you enjoyed this video, I would love if you left it a like. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribed and joined our little fam. Thank you guys so much for letting me read your cards. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. And I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye. Hi there, Pile 4. If you guys chose the Aquamarine and the Red Jasper, this is going to be your reading. So I'm quickly going to explain how this reading is going to work in terms of should you wait or should you move on. So in order to confirm that this is your connection, we are first going to look at both parties within this connection, kind of where they're at right now and how they're feeling, what their energy is towards the connection. And then we'll look at the... Um, connecting energies between the both of you and then we'll look at the tarot and see what spirit wants you to know and then we'll do channeled messages and advice so i'm probably not necessarily going to outright say you should wait or you should move on i believe that should be up to you guys you know your life more than i do i'm just here to present the information that might help you make a decision but ultimately trust your gut you know yourself and this connection better than anyone so especially me a pair of talking hands on youtube so let's go ahead and start here the first person is being represented by the unicorn and the bully highlights your tendency to intimidate others helps you to confront the inner fears that bully you and the unicorn's energy towards the connection is message in a bottle in reverse and chaos and conflict and for the red jasper, their energy is being represented as the bear. And their archetype is... Did I just put my finger in the candle? And I'm fine. Total airy shit. We have the addict. And then their energy towards the connection is go the distance and truth be told. So I definitely feel like there's been something very troubling going on within this connection and I feel like where you are at with this person is going to be different for every single one but what it seems like is that this bear has had a major wake-up call recently I don't think that this unicorn is necessarily a bully but this unicorn is waking up to their psychic abilities and I think that this unicorn is in a much more secure position in life and I think that the bear is intimidated by that, but the bear has had a lot of struggles, probably with addiction or some type of problematic behavior that has been sabotaging this connection. Because I feel like this the person who is the unicorn, which they're being represented by the third eye chakra, I feel like this person is recognizing that they deserve more than the behavior that they've been receiving and they're probably not talking to the bear right now because I feel like they know if they do, it will just create chaos and conflict and they don't wanna argue with this person. And I feel like they also don't wanna say anything that they will regret. But I actually think that this is serving a purpose because this bear person, I think, is starting to see the truth of how they've been acting and they're recognizing that, that it's going to be up to them to put the work in. If this connection is going to get better, there is going to need to be a determination on this bear person's part to fix the issues within themselves that they 
need to have. But this person is tired of wearing a mask in this connection. They recognize that by wearing this mask and acting like things are okay, they have been creating a lot of anxiety in the unicorn because I feel like the unicorn could intuitively, kind of intuitively knew that, that there was more to the picture here than either was willing to admit. And so I feel like neither party is talking to one another right now. Maybe an argument happened recently or at the very least, if you're talking to them, you're not seeing eye to eye. And I feel like the unicorn might be giving the bear the silent treatment. But looking at the energy between the both of you, we have goblins number five and rock bottom number 10. So I definitely think both parties have a lot of fear when it comes to this connection. I think from the unicorn's point of view, from their standpoint, I feel like they're afraid of putting their trust in this bear person and having it betrayed again. I feel like they're, they fear having more conflict and more chaos. They have a lot of fear in terms of, is this worth putting my heart on the line for? I don't know. And I feel like this unicorn person might have been the wake up call that the bear needed to realize that they had to change this behavior or they're gonna, they're gonna lose their shit. But with this rock bottom here, I feel like both, both parties are feeling in rock bottom towards the connection. I don't feel like the unicorn is in rock bottom in general, but in terms of their the, like where they are within this connection and how they feel about it, they feel like this connection has hit rock bottom. Whereas I feel like the bear person, they have hit rock bottom in general and they have a lot of fears as well. I think one of their fears is disappointing this unicorn person, trying to get better and then realizing that they can't or that, that their addictions are too strong. I feel like they also have fears about changing, about getting better, about not using these coping mechanisms as a way to go through life anymore. I feel like this person was really spiritually broken and this unicorn person came in and, and, and changed so much. But at the same time, it's been so hard for this bear person to be open to this and they're seeing the truth of their nature and of their actions and I feel like they're realizing that they have to go the distance they have to I love how similar this addict and this go the distance are I feel like this person is wanting to recognize and confront their addictive behavior so that they can be honest here but there's definitely fears on both ends and I feel like the only silver lining that the, that these two people are feeling about this connection right now is the fact that there's nowhere to go but up this is really making me think of the Spongebob episode <laughs> um, where, where, they, where they get stuck in that, in that rock bottom place and they all <laughs> talk <laughs> like <laughs> this <laughs> and you know they tell Spongebob like I can't <laughs> understand <laughs> your accent <laughs> and so I feel like there's been a lot of miscommunication here. I guess that was my point of talking about that. It seems like there's this huge roadblock. And I feel like this bear person really doesn't feel like they're worthy or deserving of this unicorn person. They're intimidated by the unicorn person and they don't even understand why the unicorn person would, would spend that time with them or, or, or even care enough to want them to be better. I feel like they understand why the un unicorn is withholding communication. But I feel like at the same time, when it comes to communication, it, it often falls into this chaos and conflict because I feel like neither party really knows how to communicate with the other. I feel like the unicorn person, when they're trying to communicate, might come in a bit strong because they might be anxious or worried or they're really trying to get the severity of the bear's actions across. But I think in turn, it makes the bear feel really attacked and it might force, not force them, but make them feel like they need to cope with this by turning to substances. But I think that, that this kind of tough love that this unicorn has been giving to this bear is kind of making them realize that they do need to make a change. But there's definitely a lot of fear here. Like this connection isn't out of the woods yet. And I feel like both parties are pretty worried about where this is headed. So I definitely think it's important that we see what's in the tarot now and see what spirit wants you to know about this connection so that you can have a better idea of 
what it is that you might want to do. It's definitely, like, energetically, this connection feels very heavy, and it definitely seems like it hasn't been very easy for either of you. Um, this is the Ember and Aura Tarot. It's on Etsy if you are interested. We are going to see here what Spirit wants you to know about this connection and about this person. Okay, so Spirit, what do you want Pile 4 to know about this connection in terms of what to do about it? Should they wait or should they move on? Okay, to start we have the Seven of Wands. What else does Pile 4 need to know? We have the World in Reverse. We have the Empress and the Magician. And on the back of the deck, we have the King of Swords. So this is really interesting. Because it definitely seems like on both ends, there's really a desire to keep fighting for this. But there's also a defensiveness at the same time. Like neither party maybe wants to open up or like open up real dialogue here. With the Empress here, I feel like this bear person sees the unicorn as the Empress and somebody that could have anybody that they wanted. And at times I think they don't quite understand why this person sticks around for them. But with the Magician here, this can be indicative of, of very high level soulmates. Although I do wanna just say when it comes to soul connections, a label shouldn't, um, shouldn't take higher importance than how a person treats you. But I definitely think there needs to be mature conversation here between the both of these two people. I think that's what Spirit is kind of saying. And that things might need to happen naturally because it, with the world card being in reverse here, it seems like things aren't over. Like there needs to be some type of discussion about whether things should be over or whether both parties want to keep fighting for this. Let's kind of see what else Spirit wants you to know. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, Spirit. We have the Fool. That's interesting. It came out. Okay, which way does the star want to go? Because it just spun. Okay, we have the star here. What else, Spirit, do you want? Okay. We have the Knight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. And on the back of the deck, we have the Chariot. So I definitely feel like this is Spirit's way of saying that there needs to be open and honest communication here and that there is hope here. This can start over, but I think that there's going to be, there's going to need to be time and healing on both ends because I think that this person needs time in general just just to heal and work on their issues because i feel like what spirit is saying is that the only way this connection is going to work is if you both work as a team and really choose to make this work and choose to overcome the obstacles and 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 be balanced within this connection you know with the star and the fool here and the world in reverse spirit is definitely saying that there can be a fresh start here but if neither party has hope or one of the other one person has hope and the other doesn't, it won't work. I feel like there needs to be clear and honest communication without there being a sort of blame game type thing. And I feel like Spirit is saying that, you know, because we did have that rock bottom energy, it does seem like things will be getting better over time. But I feel like there is a call to not be too harsh with your words be clear and honest, but not mean and vindictive, especially if you are the unicorn person, because I feel like the uh, bear person is really feeling bad about themselves and they're already pretty down on their luck. And it does seem like they're in a very energetically fragile place where they're having a hard time really coming to terms with what they did and coming to terms with the idea that 
it's time for them to change. But I also feel like the idea of them changing makes them feel a little bit lighter. And I think with this Queen of Pentacles here, I feel like this relates more to this unicorn person because I do feel like this unicorn person is in a better place. And this unicorn person might be ready to be more nurturing towards this person if they know that they can trust them. But I think that's the biggest thing. There needs to be trust established here. And I feel like both parties need to be on the same page because no matter what, if I feel like this is a connection that like literally the only way it'll be able to work is there's clear and open communication on both ends. And there is like an agreement on what the vision is on what we want. And I feel like one of the biggest and most important things is that the unicorn person, no matter how strong their feelings are for the bear, recognizes that wants and needs are different. And if this bear person can't meet your needs, that they're in, that, you know, the unicorn has every right to look elsewhere to get their needs met because, you know, wants are negotiable, but needs are not. And if there are needs that are not being met, I feel like spirit is saying that this unicorn person has every right to figure out where they might be. But there is hope for this connection if you feel like putting in the work could change things. I think one of the biggest things though is that this connection needs is time. Is time, space to allow things to just be and clear and open honesty. And I think that from the unicorn's perspective, they're going to need some sort of um, information or confirmation that this bear person is getting help and is doing what they need to do. So I'm going to get some channeled messages from your person and see what they might say to you and what they want you to know. But I think a lot of this comes down to, honestly, time. Because, you know, the Empress talks about things occurring naturally over time. The Wheel of Fortune talks about time. The Star talks about hope. And the Magician talks about being able to manifest. And the Chariot talks about moving forward. So... I, I really think it's going to come down to both parties mutually agreeing and not placing expectations on the other for what the other should be doing until they have a good idea. I honestly think these are two people that could really benefit from like couples counseling or something like that, where there could be like a strong mediator to make sure that that messages are received the way they should be and that you know one party doesn't take what somebody said the wrong way or things like that. I think it's easy. For both people to maybe get hurt because the feelings here are strong to take things the wrong way or to take things too harshly when they aren't intended and so i think miscommunication could be a huge problem here that this couple needs to over overcome but let's see what this person would say i am such an idiot yeah i feel like they're, they're both parties have regrets like with how they've, they've acted and taken things I only care about myself. Yeah, so maybe this bear person, you know, especially if when they're, they're dealing with addictions, they, they don't even have room to care about anybody. We also have complications scare me and there's things I'm not ready to tell you. Yeah, with, clearly with that honesty, that's gonna be, gonna be something that needs to happen. You're my wish come true. What else does this person wanna say to Kyle? For spirit I'm really sad right now yeah especially if this person isn't talking to you I can never f seem to find the right words to convey my feelings and I'm not in a good headspace right now let's see what else they would say I want to be more than friends I've hidden how deep my feelings really are the distance between us kills me I miss our friendship and the depth of my feelings scares me. And on the back of the deck, I am afraid of rejection and the path to you seems so complicated and messy. So yeah, there's a lot about complications. There's a lot about, you know, messy behavior here. And I think things have been messy, but this is a good example of a connection where things aren't necessarily very easy to make a decision it, it really has to come down to a, a matter of what you're willing to forgive and what you're not what you're willing to put up with and what you're not and and the 
and the amount of time and dedication you both have to making this work and, and what resources you're, you're willing to utilize to make it work if you can't, if you think that you can't just make it work between the two of you, if that makes sense. But we're gonna see what Spirit wants you to know now. So Spirit, what advice do you have for pile four? What do you want them to know at this time? A new start is coming. Prosperity lies ahead. Okay, that's a lot of cards, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reshuffle that. What else do you want Pile 4 to know? The end of a tough cycle approaches, and on the back of the deck, you and your loved ones are safe and take time to breathe out. So, yeah, I definitely think this is an opportunity for... I feel like no matter what decision you make here, I think things are going to get better. And, and the Wheel of Fortune is going to confirm that. Whether you two decide to go your separate ways and start fresh on your own, I think that's a valid option. Or if you decide that you want to work on things, I think Spirit is saying that they can get better and that you guys can have a prosperous, fresh start. But you may need time to cool down from one another, especially if you got into a really heated argument very recently. I feel like one thing that Spirit wants you to know is that you don't have to make a decision hastily. You take the time that you need to really process your feelings and process what it is that you want and what you desire. And, and, if, and if this situation is something that you feel you want to endure and overcome or it's something that you just want to let it be for now and go your own way, it really is up to you. And I think Spirit is saying, Give yourself the time, all the time and energy that you need to figure that out for yourself so that you don't make a decision in haste and then worry that you made the wrong one. So I am going to leave this reading here, pile four. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way through. If you did, definitely let me know down in the comments how this resonates and um, maybe leave some support for any other pile fours that might be dealing with this as well. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you left a like. Um, and if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribed and joined our little fam. Thank you guys so much for letting me read your cards. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this. And I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye!